I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. The rain keeps falling in portions of the south with southeastern Texas and southwestern Louisiana seeing as much as 14 inches of rain. Now in Lake Charles, Louisiana, it only took 45 minutes for waters to top cars parked in the street. In Baton Rouge, it was more of the same. One of the city's 911 centers received more than 800 calls Monday evening alone. Louisiana's governor issued a state of emergency and it's not over yet with another six inches of rain expected to fall. Other parts of the country are dealing with drought and University of California scientists are working on ways to improve the drought tolerance of crops. They report identifying genes that protect plants from drying out. Working with tomato plants, the researchers studied genes that regulate a moisture barrier layer in plant roots. Now the barrier prevents a plant from losing water. The scientists say the knowledge may help them breed crops that survive longer during drought. A big event for ag students is back to being in person this year. FFA says its 2021 National Convention will be held in person next October in Indianapolis. The event expected to include both in-person events and a virtual program. The organization says members have shown resiliency and the ability to adapt due to the pandemic. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.